If every time you look to this screen, you still feel unsure, this video is for you. On this video, you'll learn how to set a limit order, a buy order, how to read a bit of the chart, and where to put your buy and sell orders in a way that you have more chances to be profitable on every one of your trades. First of all, let's understand how to get to this page if you don't already know. First, you have to come to blockchain landing page, and then you have to come here on advanced trade. Here on advanced trade is a place that, you're, that you will learn how to trade crypto. What are the important things that you have on this landing page? Here you have the chart that you can read a bit of what is happening with the price of the token that you are willing to buy. Right here on market, you will define what is the token pair that you want to buy. If you want to buy Bitcoin using Brazilian BRL, you can come to BTC BRL, but if you want to buy Bitcoin, with USDC, you come to BTC, USDC, and then you are buying Bitcoin with USDC. So now you learn how to choose the pair you want to buy. Here you have the lowest that the token was during the day. So the lowest during the last 24 hours, the highest 24 hours. We know right now we are not on a high because it already went to 24,417 and it came, came from 23,000. 994 and here you have how much volume was transacted during the day during the 24 hours here we know also what was the change between the 24 hours so we are a bit below it's minus 1.67 here you have what are the recent trades that are happening in the in the market a lot of people buying bitcoin here you should see your trades and we'll create some trades here and soon enough we'll see our trades happening here and here is the order book this part is really important because here you see what are the price that people are trying to sell the token and what are the pro what is the price that people is tr are trying to buy the token so here we know that there are there are some people trying to buy bitcoin on 24000 Oh, 45 and so on a lot of trades a lot of people trying to buy on 24,000 and here we we have a lot of people trying to sell their tokens on 24,143 124 and so on what is what do we have this here we know for how much people are trying to sell and for how much people are trying to buy when it gets really close that's when the market happens. So someone is trying to sell for a price for a price that someone is willing to buy. And this encounter right here, the encounter of the orders is the mid price. It's in the same distance from the buying and sell orders. So it's between the buy and sell orders. So right now the mid price is 24,084 because there are people trying to buy on 24,050 and there are people trying to sell at 24,118. And right down below, we have the buy and sell buttons. Here we have the order types to select. So let's say, what is a limit order? Limit order is an order that you make saying exactly for how much you want to buy or sell the token you are willing to transact. So if I put, I want to make an order at limit and it will be the amount of 0 0.001 Bitcoin and I'll choose the price that I want to buy at 24,000. So yes, this is cool. You can select it right here if you don't want to write the price. I want to buy 0 0.001 Bitcoin at $24,115. And so here I say, what is the amount I want to buy? What is the price for it? And I said, I press here on the green button to put the order. But if I want to create a market order, this one is different. With this one, I cannot set the price of the transaction. If I, I just select what is the amount of tokens that I want to buy, and I just select what is the amount of tokens that I want to buy, and with that, it will come the price that I'm willing to pay. And with that, it will come the amount that I'm willing to pay. Because right now, if I want to buy Bitcoin at 0 0.001 Bitcoin, and I press it right here, it will say the amount of 0 0.001 will be almost $24,000 approximately. But why is that approximately? It is approximately because when you make a market order, you are saying, I want to buy this amount of tokens no matter what. So no matter the amount that you are paying, you will get 
this number of tokens. And this is a problem because I know there are a lot of millionaires watching this video and you might think, okay, I want to buy 1000 Bitcoin and they'll pay no matter what. But in the moment that you press that on a market order, you start to fill all the orders right here on the book because you want it fast, no matter the price. But if you want to be cautious, you come here and you set a limit order and then you say the amount of Bitcoins you want to buy. So the millionaires, we want to buy 100 Bitcoin just to start. And then they say, what is the price that they want to, to pay? The price of Bitcoin that I want to pay is $24,000 and so on. And it will, and this order will only be filled in the moment that other person is trying to sell the Bitcoin for this price that you set. It won't happen of someone trying to sell Bitcoin for you at 25,000 and you paying 24,115. It won't, the transaction will only happen in the moment that the two orders are set, one buy and one sell order. So now you have the basics to start to trade crypto. You know what is a limit order, what is a market order, you know the basics of this landing page. So let's move a bit forward. Usually we say in the market that when you are thinking long term and you want to buy in Bitcoin, it doesn't, it kind of doesn't matter uh, how much you are paying it right now because on the longer thought, for example, if you buy Bitcoin right now at $24,000 and in the future it comes back to $64,000, so you have almost a 3x, it doesn't matter a lot if you are buying it at $24,019 or 24000 100 or 25,000 if you want to sell it at $64,000 or if you want to sell it at $300,000. It doesn't matter because long term, as we're talking about a larger time, as we are talking about a small difference of percentage, you don't care a lot about this difference. But if you want to trade crypto daily or at least weekly, you try to find the best moment to buy Bitcoin or whatever token you want to buy on the perfect spot. So on the end of the day or on the end of the, or in the end of the week, you sell it higher and you make a profit and then you continue to trade. Here on the chart, I can also show you that, yes, you already know how to change the pairs, but you can always choose here what is the time that you want to see every one of these candles right here. So if you want to see a faster market, you come to five minutes you come to 15 minutes to see what is happening on the chart. But if you want to see on the long term, you can choose here, for example, 12 hours, and you see how is the market moving in the better way. So now that we know that every one of these candles represents how was that 12 hours of that day. And if you don't already know how these candles work, it's a, a good moment to learn a bit. Do you see this candle right here? What this candle wants to say to you is that if they are green, they started at a lower price and they ended in a higher price. And if they are red, they started at a higher price and they closed at a lower price. So right here, we have a big green candle that says the day or the 12 hours started right here at 1,678 and it and the 12 hours ended at the price of 1,870. The same for the red candle right here that says that the 12 hours started right here at 2,000 and it ended right here at the 1,933. And what is the meaning of this thing part? This means that the price went there and came back. The, because the thick part of the candle says where it closed and the rest of the candle, that thin part says where the price went. So we can have a candle that's a day that started right here. It didn't go even lower. It just stood right here. And then it went up and up and up a bit higher and then the 12 hours closed right here. This one is a great one. It started right here and the 12 hours ended right here at the top. This one is an interesting one. It says that the day started at 8, 1885 and it went to 1923, but it closed 
at 1893 just as it is right now 18. and now to finish this first encounter of the basics of trading let's learn finally what is support and what is resistance if you look to this chart you see that although it is growing it goes on waves and that's how we say the market goes it will go up in waves and it will also fall down on waves so it grows then it corrects then it grows then it corrects a bit then it grows coming back to bitcoin price we can find what is the support and what is the resistance basically the support is where the price will go down and stays there because no one wants to sell the token below that price during that time that you are looking at the chart so for example here you can see that we had bitcoin going to 95 000, 19 19 brl but it went straight back to the top so it stood here for more than 6 12 18 hours and it went back and just so here we can say this is a support because although it it broke a bit it came right straight after it to grow back to the top because this is the support this is where people are willing to buy Bitcoin and that people are not willing to sell Bitcoin any price below and you see that why this is this support was strong because it the price went up, went a bit down, went up again, and when it fell down, it came back to the same support. So if you want to trace a support on your chart, you can come here on the left and just put here, this right here is the support. Because on this time zone, people were not willing to sell below. So the price went up, and the price went down, went up again, but it went, it really went down. It didn't pass through the support because again, this is the price that no one is trying to sell below. And if they try to sell below, people will buy immediately. And right here, for example, we also have the resistance because the resistance is the price that people are willing to sell and other people and the other people are not willing to pay to pay any any higher for that token so here we can say that this is the resistance of bitcoin at least for this small time zone what we can do right now with this information is that and you can see mostly what are the resistance what is their support if you want to buy at support it's the best moment to buy it because you know it can't go any time lower and the best point to sell the tokens is be a bit below the resistance looking at this chart of bitcoin for example you can see that we have a we have a nice support right here and then if we trace the support line right here and also what is the resistance the resistance is right here when we put it as we said that the best part the best moment to buy some to buy to do the day trades or the the weekly trades is trying to buy at the support and trying to sell at uh, a bit below the resistance so if we put if we had put a buy order right here at 118,000, we could have a crazy buy right here of buying bitcoin here and then selling it right here with a four percent profit which is pretty awesome if we're trading on a smaller time frame this is pretty good don't forget if you are willing to trade on blockchain always remember about bkt liquidity mining program a program that rewards the traders on blockchain for every four weeks one million bkts are distributed every dollar is moved on a transaction means one point and the multiplier might change according to the number of bkts you can stake but if you see the top leaders of this project are already here receiving 235,000 BKTs, 200,000 BKTs, you can come right here by trading. You just have to move a lot of volume. It might be thousands of trades at one, $1 or 100 trades at $1,000, $100,000. It's up to you to decide. But with this series of videos, you know that you can always create some great trades moving a lot of volume or just a small volume but still profitable but this is the important part being profitable on your trades and also receiving rewards 
in the end of every epoch of blockchain trading contests. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.